Brian here with HelpSellMyRV.com out of Louisville, Kentucky, where all RVs are for sale by owner. I'm going to do a walk around on this fully loaded 2017 Grand Design Imagine 2600 RB travel trailer with the Super Slide. Overall exterior length is 29 feet, 8 inches, and the exterior height to the upgraded large 15,000 BTU AC unit is 10 feet, 11 inches, and the unloaded vehicle weight or the UVW when it came off the assembly line is 5,788 pounds and I'll try to show you that sticker when we walk around the back side if I don't forget give you an idea of the floor plan here this is a one owner camper the only reason why the owner is selling it is because he's just not using it uh, the um, owner actually bought this for his work in 2017 he works for the Corps of Engineers. Whenever he goes out of town, he uses this. So it's really only been used by one person. And he did not live in it at uh, long periods of time or anything like that. Overall condition, I would say great. Now, there's a little scratch on the decal I'll show you outside. But other than that, great condition. And I think any dealer would agree. All right, start off with Super Slide. Super Slide accommodates the theater seating. And it's all heat, massage, LED light accent, obviously. And there's your Thomas Paine badge there. Excellent quality furniture, Thomas Paine does. Ultra leather finish, and it's gonna be a brown in color. And let's see, there we go. The lighting there, nice stitching. Heat, nice light. And there you are, recliner, obviously. Also in the super slide is the boot dinette, and that's also the ultra leather finish. Same color, browns, nice stitching also. This table collapses down pretty easy and makes into a nice double bed. You could easily sleep. Actually, uh, I think it might be bigger than a double. Sleep easily two grown adults. And again, there's no wear or tear. Inside this camper looks like brand new. Been around to the kitchen huge counter space and you do have the foil wrap counter tops the actual dining room table I've been looking for that that's the little cutting board that they put over the farmer sink anyway glad I did that extension for your countertop which is nice and that foil wrap uh, is water resistant and uh, looks like a marble countertop which is cool three burner gas cooktop front burner is usually a high output stainless steel finish on your oven looks like it's never been used huge pots and pans drawer there stainless steel finish on your microwave we are hooked up to 110 I always like to show that the digital readouts working kind of a smoke glass finish uh, looks like brush nickel on all your hardware and your oh gosh I always forget the color of the cabinets uh, I'm gonna have to double check six cubic foot refrigerator it's gas and electric whether you're boondocking or hooked up to shore power, uh, a couple hours later you'll have a cold fridge. It's not preset to one temperature. You can actually adjust the temperatures. Just turn it on and you're ready to rock and roll. It's going to be your entertainment center area here. I'm going to say that's probably a 32 inch flat screen. And yeah, it's on a pivoting arm. It's locked in place for transport. Uh, you do have the Furion stereo. There's your Furion badge there. Bluetooth, capable, hook up to smart devices. Yeah, you do have a USB port there. It's got all the good stuff. And DVD player and CD. Huge storage up underneath. This floor plane has a lot of storage, by the way. Even up underneath the fridge. It's pretty neat. Ah, little doggy kibble drawer. Cool. Yeah, Grand Design does that on a lot of their models. 
You do have a crowned roof and crowned ceiling and gives you a little bit more uh, ceiling height. It's kind of a paneled ceiling, which is nice. Nice finish. Ducted AC all throughout. You do have the large ducted 15,000 BTU AC unit with quick dump. Once the camper's cooled off, you close off these louvers and you'll have ducted AC all throughout. Your floor is gonna be a, almost a stone look finish and it's the high grade residential grade uh, vinyl flooring. And that table is also the foil wrap that looks like a marble. And again, water resistant, oil resistant. You can get the thing dirty, wipe it off with some 409 and a rag and you're good to go. Walking into the front master bedroom, uh, it is a queen bed and the queen mattress was upgraded. It's not the regular trailer mattress. So I definitely would put this mattress up against any 2600 RB Imagine travel trailer mattress. Closets on each side of the bed. Nice reader lights. You do have a charging station for your smart devices, USB charging right there. 110 outlet right there for a nice smart uh, sleep at machine. I did check this camper inside and out for water damage. Always open up the cabinets and look in all four corners. Anywhere I can. Uh, find uh, any signs of water damage and always check up in the corners and uh, did not find any issues usually you'll see some wrinkling in the wallpaper did not find any issues see that headboard it's that same ultra leather finish on your boot dinette if you wanted the tv that's where your tv would go up there in the corner nice solid pocket door for privacy from the bedroom into the living room thermostat to operate your furnace and your AC. Your furnace on this is going to be a large 35,000 BTU furnace which is a huge furnace for this floor plan uh, and uh, they did that because it's a four seasons package on this so it uh, is rated for 15 degrees all the way up to 100 degrees. Nice solid pocket door going into the bathroom for privacy. Huge rear bathroom floor plan. Foot flush China toilet. Yep. That's what you want. Not the rinky dink plastic ones. Huge medicine cabinet, not just a mirror. Lots of counter space in your vanity area. Your shower is going to be the kind of accordion door. It squeegees all the water off the door. Neat concept. Plus, it keeps the weight down. And this is a light towable. Perfect for a half ton truck or SUV. There you go. Uh, let's finish up by showing you the control panel here. Central command, uh, holding tanks and monitors for your battery. Fully charged. Fresh water tank. And I uh, forgot what the fresh water is. Black tank is I believe a 39 gallon. And gray tank is going to be a 72 gallon. I have to double check on. I think it might be 52 gallons on your fresh water. Your gray tank is your sink and shower. Black tank is your toilet. Ceiling lights, awning lights. I've got those on. Water pump. Flip it on. Easy to figure out. Gas, electric, direct spark ignition. Water heater, six gallon. Whether you're boondocking or hooked up to shore power, you are ready to go within 15 minutes with hot water slide button there easy to figure out and your awning button i did not put the awning out all the way uh, because i would have hit that light right there but i did put it halfway out it works fine and it's in excellent condition but uh, the awning is going to be about it's huge it's going to be a good i would say it's a it's almost a full length that's going to be a 22 footer and your led lights i've got those on see and all the LED lights are working. I don't know if you can see them tucked into the tube there. All right, on the outside, fiberglass finish. Uh, they're calling it a high gloss. Uh, let's see if I can shoot down the side here, kind of show off. It's kind of a hazy day, but anyway. Uh, aluminum frame sidewall construction. Back up here, show off. All the decals are in good condition. The owner did not cover this camper, so there is a little sign 
of shrinking I'll try to show you just a little bit but I'm very particular when I do my walk rounds on the front here beautiful front molded fiberglass cap painted show off that madge and badge there there's absolutely no sign of wear tear or anything like that it's kind of cut out a rhino lighting right here that's pretty cool nice LED light accent you do have the optional front power jack uh, two 20 pound LP tanks with cover that was either an option or part of a package nice magnets for the doors I always say it I should have done that a long time ago you do have foil wrap this is one reason why it's a four seasons uh, and rated at 15 up to 100 degrees you are floral wrapped uh, up, Obviously, this is up underneath the bed your garage area and your underbelly is fully enclosed and heated and Your docking station and everything which I'll show you all protected From the elements uh, motion detector lights uh, coming into the camper and these are motion detectors right here So that's neat and I did check for water damage uh, in the storage compartments area Nice heavy duty stabilizer jacks, the manual ones. These are the ones you want. The electric ones are cheap and junky. That's my opinion. Okay, the owner did get into his lawnmower, or I'm sorry, his lawnmower did get into the trailer a little bit. Just a little scratch right there, a little scratch right there. Non issue. Um, and the uh, wheel of his lawnmower, it's just a little aluminum skirting right here. Just a little bit right there. And right, a little scrape right there if i didn't point this out you wouldn't even notice it this, these are things that i look for but what was cool is he actually told me about it before i even came out 80 percent tint on your windows outside speakers marine grade style speakers and your decals let me show you this is what i look for see it's just showing a little shrinkage right there again stuff like that a lot of people don't notice stuff like that i do uh, the decals are not curling or anything Here's your Imagine badge there. Aluminum alloy wheels. They're in excellent condition. Size 15s. The aluminum step. Definitely one of the things they should have done a long time ago because the metal ones, steel ones are rusty. And these are a lot easier to uh, collapse away for storage. Nice grab handle. See, here's your decal. I just peel that off and take a little goof off just rip that thing off but anyway four seasons protection package outside shower that's where your sprayer would hook up oh your low point drains there they are and they are protected up in there and there's your fully enclosed heated underbelly back up here show off what it looks like from the front rear there's your crowned roof there's the upgraded optional uh, camera it's not just camera prepped. This is fully loaded for an Imagine 2600 RB. Spare tire with carrier. I believe that was part of an option or part of a package. Service panel for your water heater. 30 amp service coming into the camper. And what's cool is you have a little LED light there to show you that you have shore power coming in in case you have any electrical issues. Ladder to get up on your roof. I believe that was part of a package or an option. Full walk on roof access your or service your uh, your roof and I did check the lap sealant nothing is wrong at all with the lap sealant no cracks it's ready to go service light when you're hooking up here all your gate valves there's one of your gate valves right there where's the other one there it is. there's your other gate valve now all the gate valves are up in the underbelly and protected there you go another view of your aluminum alloy wheels it's gonna be your super slide it's gonna be a good uh, 12 to 14 foot long and about two and a half to three foot deep the owners have not had a chance to really detail it a little bird duty on it a little black streaking right here I would rate this camper in great condition. It's 2017. We're going into 2022. Uh, I, I, it definitely, I think any dealer would agree. Great condition. Excellent condition on the inside. 
and another motion light right here and you do have the light switch to turn on your LED light accent on the front cap docking station here Let's, magnets are convenient docking station all this whole area is all heated and you do have let's see what we got 110 outlet there cable hookups there to the right and you do have a battery disconnect shut off your battery save it when you've got it in storage another outside shower hook up your sprayer hooked up to that and black tank sewer flush right there you don't have to drag a hose inside anymore Here, there's your sprayer uh, This hitching is not going with the camper. The owner paid a pretty penny for this. And, uh, but anyway, if you're interested in the camper uh, and you're wanting the hitching, maybe y'all can work something out, but he is not throwing it in. I think he paid on well, over $1, $800 for it. Solar prep, I don't know if I pointed that out. Oh, little sticker right there. All right, uh, sometimes they show the little sticker on the back side here, and this is where you get the VIN number. Uh, and unload a vehicle weight UVW 5,788 pounds and there's your VIN in case you want to show that to the bank there you go I think I got everything anyway it is a nice camper uh, there's no red flags really to it uh, other than that little area where the owner just kind of kind of rubbed it up with his uh, lawnmower a little bit yeah, it's a nice camper. All right, I think I got everything. If you want to come and see the camper, just call the number on the edge, or you can call 502-645-3124. If you like this video, I'd appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up on YouTube. And if you want to keep up to date on RVs coming for sale by owner in the Louisville, Kentucky area, you can always follow HelpSellMyRV.com on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube.